So let's look at the following example. Let's suppose a cliff diver pushes off a cliff that is 40 meters high and needs to clear a 5 meter long batch of rock found at the bottom of the cliff. So we want to find with what initial horizontal velocity should the diver push off in order to clear this 5 meter long batch of rock found at the bottom of the cliff. So, before we solve the problem, let's make a few assumptions. So first, we're making the assumption that there is no air resistance. And that means our gravitational constant, our acceleration due to gravity, is 9.8 meters per second squared. Now, we're choosing upward to be positive, downward to be negative. We're making the assumption that at this initial position along the x-axis, we have zero and the final position along the x-axis is 5 meters. We're also making the assumption that our initial position along the y-axis is 40 meters and our final position is 0 meters. Now finally, we're also making the assumption that our initial vertical velocity is 0 meters per second. So with that said, First, we need to find how long our object, the person, spends in the air. We can use that time to then solve for our initial velocity along the x-axis, our horizontal initial velocity. So let's begin with the first one. How long does he or she spend in the air? So let's use the following equation to solve for our time value. So we know that our initial uh, position along the y-axis is 40, our final position is 0. We know that our initial velocity along the y-axis is 0, so this term cancels, this term is 0, so we have 0 equals 40 minus, why is it minus? Well, because our gravitational constant, which points downward, is negative, because we chose that downward position to be negative. So, minus 1 half times 9.8 t squared. So, we bring the 40 to one side, we divide both sides by 1 half times 9.8, which is 4.9, and notice that we have a negative on top, negative on the bottom, so that becomes positive. So in order to get the t on one side, we simply take the radical of both sides and we get the following result. So our time is approximately 2.86 seconds. In other words, our person spends 2.86 seconds in the air. Now, knowing how much time they spend in the air, we can use this equation to solve for our initial horizontal velocity. So, since we have this 5 meter batch of rocks that need to be cleared, that means our final position along the x-axis needs to be 5. Our initial, we make the assumption, is 0. Now, our initial velocity is exactly what we're looking for, and our initial or our acceleration along the x-axis during free fall is always zero because we're neglecting air resistance. So, this term cancels out, this term cancels out, and we're left with 5 meters equals our velocity along the x-axis, our horizontal velocity, multiplied by the time. So we divide 5 by 2.86 seconds and we get the following initial horizontal velocity approximately 1.75 meters per second. In other words, in order for the diver to clear this batch of rock that is 5 meters long, when they dive off this 40 meter high cliff, they need to have an initial velocity along the x-axis of 1.75 meters per second.